Released at the same time as the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, is there more to the Huawei Watch GT than just amazing battery life? So in terms of design, this is an objectively samey looking smartwatch. It's not ugly by any stretch. It just doesn't look to differentiate itself from the other smartwatches out there in terms of the design stakes at least. I'd say it's definitely chunky on the wrist, but it's deceptively light all things considered. And that silicone strap is most definitely comfortable for all day wear. On first glance, it reminds me very much of the TicWatch Pro, to be completely honest with you. One area that is different is the OS. This isn't a Wear OS powered smartwatch. Instead, Huawei uses their own light OS that is a little bit of an unknown entity at this point. It's here that I found that Watch GT has some serious issues. The overall experience with light OS is slow and laggy at times. Touches seemingly take a couple of milliseconds to register, although that doesn't detract from just how good the display looks. The display is easily as good as any smartwatch I have used, but again you won't get much use beyond simple fitness tracking and notification pins. As this isn't Wear OS, it means no third party applications can be installed or new watch faces added. There are only 11 watch faces to choose from and although they are quite varied, this is a major disappointment for any Android smartwatch. I'd have to say that this enclosed system does make this feel like a poor man's smartwatch, especially as you don't get a media player and have no way of installing one. Although that said, if this closed system does one thing, it clearly benefits the battery life, which is utterly superb. Not having all of those extra apps, bells and whistles is like the reason that the battery life is so good. Overall though, I'd have to say that this is a really strange product that compromises in so many key areas that it can't really be recommended unless battery life is your only area of concern. As it stands, I would recommend the TicWatch Pro or the Xiaomi Mi Band 3 way ahead of the Watch GT at this point in time, unless a software update fixes a lot of the shortcomings of this device. Despite that, if you would like to check it out, I will leave a link in the description should you wish to have a look at it. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more Google and Android related news. But this is Damien saying thanks again for watching and I will speak to you later.